Black smoke filling the sky in Sana'a as the Saudi-led coalition resumes strikes in Yemen. Raids on Monday and Tuesday hit a presidential compound as well as several military targets across the city. A food factory was also bombed overnight, killing a dozen civilians. We heard a terrible noise. Two shells hit the place where we're cooking. There are no military here. 70% of the workers are women. In the first, uh, from, uh, from all the employees, 70 30% are women. The strikes come less than four months after a UN-brokered ceasefire was put in place between Houthi rebels who occupy the capital Sana'a and are backed by Iran and the internationally recognized government backed by Saudi Arabia. Fighting had intensified in recent days as both sides accused each other of violating the truce. Meanwhile, peace talks in Kuwait have collapsed after weeks of stalemate. The UN expressed alarm at the situation in Yemen on Tuesday and called on both sides to show restraint. We are unable at this time to independently verify reports of civilian casualties. What's clear, however, is that the reported escalation in fighting exacerbates the already dire humanitarian and human rights situation and the suffering of the Yemeni people. The UN says that over 6,000 people have been killed since Saudi-led airstrikes began last year. It's also estimated that 14 million people, about half the population of Yemen, are going hungry, with 400,000 children being at risk of starvation.